Hi friends, this is going to be a beautiful session to have a wonderful 2021 and we will be doing this by together filling out our My Companion Planner workbook. So let's see. This is how the cover looks and I hope you have got this, you know, right now when you're watching this video because this session is exclusively for the people who have bought this beautiful book. This is something with a lot of love. So the first thing, okay, now let me just explain to you something. So many of the people have messaged me because I, I made this session, uh, just I planned this after actually I got a lot of orders. Many have messaged how to use this book. So there are a lot of new people who are planning to use planner. So I want to give them a proper guide. So let me just first explain how you can get your goals and plans in your life. Okay, so everyone have dreams. So this thing you can actually practice if you want to practice uh, in the you know note session, which is at the end of the book. Uh, that is you know here. Okay, here you can make actually uh, the how to define your dreams and goals and plans session. You can make here. So first you just write down dreams as a first point okay and write down 15 of your dreams okay then ask yourself why do i need in why do i need this in my life and find out that why answer okay so the next column you have to write is why okay so if i give an example like i want to buy a car this is a vague dream okay I want to buy an Innova car, okay, or a BMW car, suppose. Uh, now, if I plan that, if I see that in mind, it is a clear dream. Vague dream is buy a car. Clarity of dream is I want to buy a BMW uh, 3 series car or, you know, 5 series car is, is a clarity of dream. Now, you ask yourself, why do I need it? Now, why if you have a clarity, like because I really love that car, it is a dream uh, car I want to buy, I want to take my family in it. So if you have a more clarity about why do you need that, then it is much easier to get that dreams into reality. Most of the time you may have a dream and you may know how to make it into reality, but you will not have that why desire within you. That is why you may not be able to achieve it. So it is very important to find the why clarity. Let me give you another example. Suppose a very rich person, you have heard many people saying, I want to visit to European countries, I want to go there, go there, but I don't have time. Now, why these people are not going there? Have you just thought about it? Because they have money, everything, right? They know how to, you know, apply for visa and take a visa, or, you know, and take a ticket and go, everything they know. So how they know and how, how also it is very clear for them, but they don't have a why desire, like, I need to go there for what? To see what? So if you have a clarity about why in your life, that becomes a goal because I really need it. It's a heart's desire to reach there, to achieve that in my life, to give that to the world, anything. So from the from the dreams, when you write 15, maybe you will get a five or six only a clarity about why answer. So rest of the dreams which, I have, which you have written in a dream session is yet a dream which can be converted later. So now you have got a five or six goals that you have to achieve for next year. All right. That goals like supposed uh, to get a good job or to make this much income. Uh, maybe, you know, I will make um, uh, 20 lakh uh, by the end of this year or anything, you know, as per your capacity, your thought process, your job, you can make your own income, you can make your own goals. And, you know, this book is going to really help you to, you know, make it for your style because this is your companion. Okay. Now, the next side is the planning part, okay? Now, um, the dream and goal and, you know, uh, the planning, how, how it, to get a clarity, let me give an example. I love to travel is a dream. I want to go to Goa is a goal because I love Goa. It's a beautiful place. I will go to Goa on February 20th is a uh, plan all right now next is to set a plan in by what time you are going to achieve this dream please write down the date okay now uh, write always practical dates possible dreams like if you say i am going to make you know 10 million uh, in this year 
you write a dream without any clarity of how to do it, then that always remains up a dream. So always try to make practical goals, which is possible, which will actually help you to make that things possible. Now, once you write that, you get much more clarity about uh, how to achieve it, then make it into short time space. And that is what we are going to do through our book, uh, My Companion Planner Workbook. So we have the table of contents. I'm not going to read the table of contents because you, ha you have it in your hands. So first, if you are, you know, watching this video, if you have the book with you, that would be great because we can, you know, sit and together plan about it. And intro section, um, comes like this where I'm just explaining you know why I did this book and you know how this book is going to be in your life and then it is about how to use this uh, companion planner that I will be explaining right now okay so the first uh, thing what we are going to do is the third page I have just filled out a little bit the third page that comes is thank you for last year 2020 so this year that is what we are presently sitting this year so it is 20 and I have given a gap because you can use it anytime you want that is how I have just planned out this book so 2020 you are going to be thankful for so the first question you have to answer is what I love the most about 2020 I know 2020 was a very very difficult year for most of us I mean all of have all of us have gone through some kind of difficulty but we have still some good things to say thank you for like you are healthy now uh, you are able to think you have a good family with you you have you know something to leave so if we start about a uh, counting our good things you will find more of good things so practicing gratitude is one of the most beautiful things so i practiced in 2020 so what i loved about um 2020 was that i had so much of time to sit with myself and you know understand me get a more clarity about the goal and thought process and go forward for 2021 in a much easier way so this is the most beautiful thing i learned about 2020 what i love about 2020 okay now next is what you learned from last year now you know uh, 2020 was quite a difficult year for personally for me myself but i i really learned practicing gratitude as an attitude so facing a lot of difficulties a lot of businesses going down a lot of investments what i had done had gone down but still i kept on practicing gratitude which gave me a such a powerful positive attitude I went more inside me realizing what I can give to the more world more what makes me really happy so I, I learned you know to get a more clarity on myself so this is I'm giving my example of what I learned so you have to write about what you learned from 2020 you know always when you start a book or start anything with with uh, with gratitude that's going to be much much beautiful now the next thing is for whom all I am grateful last year. So who all are the people who really influenced you last year, who gave you a, you know, a, a positive thought process to go forward, write about those people and be grateful for those people in your life. That's, you know, being grateful is so much, so much what, you know, gives you an energy to go forward. So the people who have influenced you, who have taught you something, who have given you something that may be your parents, your best friends. So just write a thank you note for that people who have been very helpful in your life. Okay. Next is most happiest moment in last year. Something which was very exciting and very happy for you. For me personally, if I take uh, in my birthday when I I never thought I'm going to celebrate it, and I, I didn't I didn't make any celebrations last year, but my very very close friends came with a uh, cake so i was very happy not not for the cake with celebration but i was really happy that they remembered me and i was able to see a lot of people loving me so i, I was very very happy for those little things in last year so next page we have excited for 2021 so that is just you know we are going to you know get into a new year with a lot of new hope a lot of happiness so that is what that's there and one thing is there is, uh, there are certain little uh, typing errors which I found after I got the book only for the, so the first edition I couldn't correct it please do forgive me and let's go forward. 
so let's let's you know let go what hurts us yeah so when you find those things like when i saw the uh, i and c of excited are you know sitting here and there it, most of us will not check i also couldn't check in when in the you know the fast last correction point but i found it now so please excuse me all right now uh how do we want this year to be okay so now we are going to think about 2021 i want it to be full of hope full of excitement i really want to give something beautiful to the world which i am working for see now i'm so excited at the end of the year because i you know this this books are going to go for uh, go to uh, shipping tomorrow and i'm so excited for each person receiving it opening it and you know all you're you're getting that love i'm really excited so i want the year to be full of excited love happiness and whatever problems i face for the next year i should be able to find a better solution to come out of it so these are my hopes for the next year and to become a much uh, peaceful person much understanding person this is all i i hope for myself okay what do i want to invite into my ne life next year now this is also very important thing see what i always focus into have to my life is right people who understands me who helps me to evolve grow uh, gives me right thought process so uh, those kind of people are so much into my life because i keep inviting them see when people message me and saying that, you know, I am so sad that I don't have people loving me or I had some friends who left me, I always say that let them go because right people will come to your life only some people go out and when you grow and evolve in your life when you become more understanding more forgiving uh, living with more gratitude uh, the such pe the people without that attitude will not be able to live with you so it is okay so i invite i don't i want to invite good people into my life good emotions into my life good money into my life i always focus on good money you know right money that uh, you know giving something amazing to the world when world gives back that money that's that's good money so i i really invite those money into my life those happiness into my life and to uh, take my venture into a next level that is spreading richness which i am working on and i'm very very happy that you know the pre-orders only went so high so that i i realized people have so much of trust in me and i hope you are going to love this book as much and the next page comes is the vision board which is one of the very very important page of this book so the people who don't know about vision board is see when we uh, keep a goal when we have a, suppose that bmw 5 series was one of the goal that we set take a small picture of the vision uh, picture of the uh, you know bmw 5 series stick in your vision board and if you if you wish for a happy beautiful family life stick a smiling photo of all your family members so if you want to reduce your weight into a beautiful figure or a healthy figure take a picture of you with that healthy figure or someone else body with your face uh, which you want to become which you want to visualize and stick down so in a vision board you vision board helps you to give more clarity on your visualization okay more clarity on what you want to become in your life the picture clarity and you know our subconscious mind will receive that picture so easily and get a more clarity on visualizing it and you know vision board is the first and the first reason for me to believe in you know mind thought process when it change you can make a big difference in uh, your life because when i was 16 years old i made a vision board and everything i have stuck on that vision board came into reality by 21 or 22 the course which i took and even without you know really working for it too much things happened i believe that is the power of visualization so and vision board always gives you more power to work for your goal you know sometimes when we work too hard uh, our energy level may go down so that time when you take my companion and your hands and you can feel that energy level okay go forward you can you have to achieve these things in your life you are amazing so i want this book to just give you a reminder life is just amazing go forward i am with you this is what uh, i want this book to give you okay uh, the next page is current me and and the future me now this is a very very important part of the book to understand what you are right now and what you want to become in the future 
Now, what are the things that you love about yourself now? Please write down your qualities that you love about yourself right now. I am a very strong person. Um, I am bold and beautiful. That's what I believe about myself. I give to the best to the world. Um, so all the qualities of a character that you, I, I practice integrity. Uh, I practice integrity. That is very important. Now, integrity is not about I don't say lie. I am honest always. No, I practice integrity is, you know, even if the world is not watching me, I try to do something really beautiful in my life uh, to be truthful in my life to myself and to God first. So that points when you practice your your character becomes very strong, a strong character. So you can face problems much easily. So what are the things you don't like about yourself? Now, this is a very, very important point to accept the problems. Okay, uh, accept what are your drawbacks like um, when I write, I do make mistake. Now that is very clear in some of the words, even I finding in this book. Now that is something I felt, I feel very bad about myself. Um, not bad about myself, something I, I, I want to improve and I try to improve. I want to learn more languages, which I really don't know. Uh, so the things, you know, you don't feel, and, and sometimes, you know, when, um, when I want the things to be perfect and I want to give the best and things does not happen like that, I become really down for for maybe you know few few minutes or something but i get really down I, I get stressed out still the things happen so these are the things i am still working on myself to improve so uh i cry very fast now when people say people you know listen to that they say that you cry you always smile right no no i cry a lot uh, but you know i that all it's just for that time and that's okay because human beings are like that all right but i am uh, really able to control my emotions in front of people i get silent and i go and sit alone and only cry so i am a strong soul now that is now the again the next most beautiful part is goals for this year so what you have worked out at the beginning of the uh, beginning of the session what i said okay from dreams to converting to your goals and write down your goals crystal clear what i prefer is do not write more than 10 goals in your uh, goal book for the year okay because um, go big goals okay because uh, you can write in detail because uh, you know there is space i i write you know maybe six to seven goals only because that that makes us more clarity to achieve it like you know i have to reach uh, like um, 10 million people in this year this is one goal reach somehow okay through my products through my videos audios i want to touch hearts of uh, 10 million people this is a goal i have set for uh, 2021 so please do help me to reach that beautiful goal okay so the next is uh, health goal now this is very important part because I have specifically written about these goals is because we sometimes forget to take care of our health so much. So this, this includes both physical health and mental health. Now, uh, write down how, how what is your ideal weight according to your height and um, what, what should be your actual weight according to your height and uh, you know age and all that there is a calculation so do that find out find out from google and write down that weight and uh, write down a healthy uh, lifestyle that you are going to follow so i don't have a specific time to work out i really like to work out in the morning but some days if i'm working too much i may not be able to work out in the morning but i make sure 20 minutes before i sleep i do some kind of workout so you know i give myself a very flexible goal system so that i can achieve any point of the day Next is relationship goal. Now that is also a very, very sweet part. Okay. So I want to bring in uh, more friends to in my, in my life who are learning, who have learned so much more than me so, so that I can learn more from them and write relationships to meet my soul friends. I do believe in soul friends. I have soul relationships in my life. The people, uh, we may not talk every day. We may not see every day, but we care for each other. Uh, you know, even after two or three years, when I call them they talk to me with all that love uh, with you know when we left so it's not about showing hi bye I care sending message all that but I have some right relationships so uh, and I want to make uh, more 
I'm a relationship with my family, with my friends, because though I talk a lot in front of video, I am a very introvert person. I, I talk very less with the people around me. So a lot of people have a complaint. I don't talk. So I want to make them happier. So this is my this is my personal relationship goal. So when you listen to me, I want you to write your relationship a goal. So career goal. Now, this part is very important for me because last year I, I, I was more focused on studies. I didn't focus much on my career, but 2021, I'm really going to, I really want to focus on my career. So uh, to grow uh, as a powerful trainer, to reach more number of people all around the world uh, is one of my important career goal. So write down your career goal, whatever you want to achieve in uh, 2021. Okay. So personal growth goal. This is very important. So here I write down the books I would love to read. I love to understand like White Lotus by Osho. I had read long back, but I want to read again. So whatever, you know, I want to learn few online courses, uh, keep updating and upgrading myself. So this kind of goals to follow certain people, to learn from their growth pattern. So these things I am going to write down in personal growth goal. Next comes the creative goal. Now, this is also very important for, for personally because as human being, what we have is some kind of creativity. And when you work on your creativity, so there is no one in this world who cannot draw. But we say, I don't know to draw because you didn't you didn't start drawing. So creative goal what you want to make something creatively now for me what i have done for the you know 2021 last years you know this is the only thing i have done creatively this year uh, i am an artist but i haven't drawn anything so all that things what you can bring out something beautiful to the world each one of you have some kind of capacity so just work on it like writing singing any kind of creative things you would like to do in 2021 just marked out so at least you know career goal personal goal write at least four points which gives you a more clarity you don't have to just sit and write when you are listening to me take your own time take your own face because this is your companion it's going to be there with you spiritual goal now this is very very interesting part for me to get more connected to god to learn more about spirituality to learn more about religion is one goal that i am learning i am keeping on growing so money goal now that is also to become financially independent is as much as important as to become happy and you know content in life so what is my money goal for this year? Keep right, writing, you know, something that is practically achievable through your career, through whatever you're doing, please keep writing because that gives, you know, your brain will be, you know, getting a clarity. Okay, I'm supposed to achieve this much uh, amount of money for that. What will I have to do? How I have to do? Where should I invest? So all this points comes out only when you write down the goal. So sometimes, you know, what I do is uh, I, I write down the goals here and then a plan here, uh, you know, so that it gives a remind, like reminder, like you know, invest in this area, invest in that area, and all that, and to meet the right people to get you a clarity about. So, uh, you know, uh, the money goal because uh, the 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 people who are into you know financial investment, everything, go talk to them, get their guidance, and do a proper investment when you're planning to do an investment. And see, life is having a lot of risk, but it's okay. Life is beautiful at the end. What matters is at least you try to do something in your life, okay? So ultimate life goal. What do you want to do with your life? Now, this is very important. For me, in one sentence, if I say it is, I would love to do anything and everything to make the world happy now for me the most important part that i enjoy it when i help someone else to make their dream come true so my dream personally is to help others to make their dream come true and when i invest my time and energy in doing that that world will give me the time and energy to make my life much better that's what i believe that's what I have done in my whole career. Now, next part is again, very, very interesting part that's coming up. That is self-love. Okay, now this I have given a whole page saying that what is about self-love. Now, do you love yourself? Do you understand yourself? When you go and look into mirror, do you feel, oh, she is just amazing or he is just amazing? If not, work on the self-love part. Because when you love yourself, when you have a clarity about yourself, your life becomes 
much much beautiful uh, you, if you have a strong character if you have if you know what's your weakness if you know what is your strength that helps you to go forward much much better so next page it is my powerful self affirmations three of affirmations to empower motivate and inspire you now this is very very important part for me okay uh, that is you know affirmations is what you tell to yourself now one thing i keep telling the world and myself is i am becoming the best version of myself so i have mistakes i have flaws i have downside and everything but i am becoming the best version of myself i am becoming the best version of myself is the most powerful affirmation that i tell myself and thank you thank you for this beautiful life i keep saying gratitude that makes me feeling so happy and i keep saying i am living a meaningful life i am living a meaningful life so this helps me to go to a my goal for uh, goal purpose very easily now next is live a meaningful life so in the next page that is the 17th page we have reached 17th page we are going so fast i think i hope you are understanding what i am saying right okay so if you have any doubt you can mail me in spreading uh, richness at gmail.com i will personally reply to you if the number of mails are not too high i will i will definitely look into the mail okay now the next is if you had all the money in the world how would you spend the time i am actually doing like that even right now okay so most of the time we make money as our biggest goal of course money is very very important part of life to go forward but um, the whole focus is uh, not about you know making money so if you had all money in the world what will you to do, do what will you do now when you know that what will you do if you are rich enough that gives a more clarity about who you are to yourself okay so as a person if you want to get more clarity about your your personality i will i will tell you something that you can practice in the note session that is write down uh, five of your characters okay write down five of your characters like i am a very lovely person i am a very nice person i am a very bold and beautiful person or something like that okay it's suppose three i wrote okay now ask your friends do they feel this about you or what they feel about you like i want to present the world i am a very bold and beautiful person but the world may may be seeing me as i am a very arrogant person so as a person as a brand there is a there is a difference in brand clarity okay now uh, means what i am trying to show and what they are saying is different now a strong character or a strong brand is someone who have certain character what he is showing to the world is same and what the world is seeing about him is the same when these things three things become clear you are a strong character okay so i am a confident person i i'm i'm trying trying to the show to show to the world i am confident person and when the world see uh, she is a confident person i am a strong brand okay so this is this is one thing you have to keep in mind when you think about a personality development okay next is what makes you feel great about yourself yourself okay so i am very proud about something about my life my life like you all would like something about you just keep writing like i don't try to find others fault i don't uh, nag about anything uh, i am very proud of all that i keep focusing on what i can do the best in the world and what i can give more to the world i don't complain much about anyone that is very important part helps me to grow in my life Uh, i forgive very easily uh, and i let go of things what hurts me let go things what hurts you let in what you know helps you to grow what are you naturally good at so what is your skills abilities gifts now this is very important uh, perspective because when i realized these points i was able to let go of things i was weak about because uh, at at you know my teenage i was more focusing on the things that i was not good at like i was not good at writing i was not good at learning i was very bulky and i was looking very fat so i was all focusing on that i became that now i am focusing on what i am good at and that is becoming more like my skills my abilities my gifts these things are increasing in my life so i am very happy about it like 
I am good at speaking. I am good at drawing. Uh, I am good at giving beautiful gifts to the people. So all that ability to make the world happy, I have realized, and I am trying to work more on that. Okay. So again, there is you know live a meaningful life. There are again um, certain questions that you can keep answering. The simple questions uh, that will actually help you to give a more clarity about uh, as a person who you are. Like now, one important point here, I will just tell you what motivates and what inspires me to become better okay so something that gives you the energy to go forward for me personally is when i see the review of my books or my writings or anything i give lot i get lot of energy to go forward so i that gave me that helped me to build my confidence to do something wonderful in life so that is something that inspires me to go forward now next is we have the beautiful day uh, tips and the healthy mind and body some reminders that you can read and get a more clarity okay so where there is love there is life okay now there starts our monthly planner now this is very very important part wherein you have to just you know write down the dates because you know i give the freedom to the uh, to work in the space so what you can do is just write sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday in all this you know upper part and the numbers how it goes just check out in your phone or diary and just write down so because even if you start at any month try as using this diary i want you to you know have this diary with you um, for for the time till this diary page is over like a friend who can stay with you till the end of the time so that is why i i made it you know very flexible because i am i am a person who likes things to be very flexible that is how i have decided like that so write the date and mark out all the important points birthdays or the functions for me personally i note down the trainings that i have to take trainings that i have to release and all those things in this page now next is the most important part i feel to become a productive person in a week that is uh, that goes like this the okay the weekly planner so sunday monday tuesday uh, start from monday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and what you want to uh, achieve complete in each day of a week okay I, I i don't put more than two tasks because if you write too much of task you may not be able to complete so what is most important like some coordination activities and all that just write the points so that you get an understand so i don't want to write a whole big essay and all that and make yourself you know uh, this as a job okay i want that the freedom and the space to work that is why i have given this you know page uh, so much of freedom for that you have a whole space to think about it and work about it so so the weekly planners will go four pages it will go and then comes the daily planner so in the daily planner you have the place to write the date and what you have to complete in a day now i have not given uh, you know 30 days for it maybe it's like you know 22 or 23 days pages i have given like uh, days you can complete that is because uh, all that sundays and saturdays i don't want you to schedule i want some days to be really free uh, and flexible so that is how you can you can write and you can use in your own style how you want and if you want, you can fill out two to three days more in the page because the, the book is really big and, you know, it is very comfortable. So I didn't want the book to have more than 200 pages because that makes the book feel so hectic. So this is how I have planned out. And then comes the most important part is gratitude journal that is at the end of the month. So here either you can write before you sleep every day a thank you note i want to use this book maybe five minutes before you sleep or five minutes after you get up because that is the best time to start your day um, and even before you sleep when you use this gratitude journal or the planner that helps you to have a more peaceful and clear mind to achieve something in life okay so write thank you for this beautiful day or thank you for you know or at the end of the month you can write what are the amazing things that happened in your month and be grateful at your learning in that page now the next month starts with a, you know each month is separated with a beautiful quote and that is how the whole book is going i hope you like this book right i really loved it i'm very excited to use this book for this uh year 
and we have the notes part where you can write down anything what you you know i write down something some beautiful quotes or something that inspires me something that you know sahla just get up and go forward it's okay whatever happened in your life this kind of points i keep writing in this notes i hope you liked it and please do you know write down your feedbacks and comments about how it feels do recommend this book to your friends um i really loved the book how it came out except a uh, few uh, typing errors which it came that will be uh, corrected in the uh, next batch which is coming out uh, but for the people who have already ordered me already loved me already trusted me this is a great gift i can give you and i hope you loved it please do give your review at spreading richness um uh, spreading richness at gmail.com with lots of love i hope you are going to have a beautiful 2021 my prayers are with you my thoughts are with you my energy is with you just plan for something amazing you are a beautiful soul and may god bless you to have a wonderful wonderful things in your life forgive and let go what hurts you and uh, let in what heals you and we all all can have amazing life so um forgive me if you didn't like anything about it but please do let me know and let me know what all you loved about it i really want to listen so we had done this you know um, two months and i was in a you know very busy schedule we were doing because i want to i want each page to have that feel and emotion so i was personally sitting with each page uh, except the uh, typing part rest everything i i had been sitting and doing and i loved how things came out i hope you too love love this book and becomes your best friend for the next year thank you so much and love you all and have a great year ahead